Before I found lead generation, I was working a job that would keep me in the office for 12 plus hours a day. That would stretch to sometimes 20 hours. I would work seven days a week on average, two weeks before deadlines. I would have to travel a lot, be away from my friends and family. And I did work to the bone for decent pay, but I had no control over my life. It was just lots of stress, tons of hours. My health was being compromised. The idea of continuing that lifestyle into my 50s and 60s just sounded like a death sentence to me. And I knew early on that I had to find something different in order to be able to actually enjoy my life and have some freedom. When I started with the lead generation model, my short-term goals were initially replacing my immediate salary. And it was pretty inconsistent because I was a freelancer, but I was coming out on good years, making roughly eight to 10 grand a month. So if I hit 10 grand a month, I was gonna be happy and I could leave that job behind and live comfortably and start focusing on growing this business fully. I was in the mode of, I have to make this work. And uh, I stayed up late nights every day for a week, digesting the program. And uh, I'm so grateful I did. I found my first client within the first 60 days. I watched a video in the program talking about easy money clients. Basically, you reach out to family and friends, see who's in shit. And I had a friend from high school that I knew that did a lot of marketing already. And so I was like, hey, so he believes in marketing. Why don't I give him a shot? After a few text messages, shot him a screencast showing him what I do, he was sold. And he wired me over $6,000. And that was within the first 60 days of learning the program. When I got my first payment, I just, my eyes blew open when I saw that wire hit my bank account. I literally couldn't believe it. I, I actually was pretty scared at first because somebody had just sent me $6,000 to generate from leads and I had no idea if I could actually do it. I kind of took a leap of faith, knew that if all these other people were having success, I could. And I just kind of embraced the possibility of potential failure and taking this guy's money. I was prepared mentally to pay him back all that money if I couldn't execute for him. It was gonna be another huge financial hit, but sometimes you just have to throw yourself into the fire and see what happens. I also am a big believer in sometimes you have to throw your back against the wall in order to really provoke change. And uh, I did and thankfully it worked out. And he's still a client today and getting regular leads every day. The first payment wasn't really the best feeling. Best feeling was the first lead because that's what made me realize like, oh my God, I have to double down on this model and build out as many sites as possible. The most momentum was when I got my first few leads. Uh, that first month of generating leads, I couldn't believe it. I saw my client making tons of money and I couldn't believe that I had done that for him. And it wasn't even that hard. When it hit me, I just realized there are so many businesses that are completely unaware of the power of online marketing. One of the most rewarding moments I've had in this business was when my client called me up and told me he got more new clients this month than he ever had before, uh, roughly 86. He said that it's probably more than any other person in that city for what he does. And it's shocking to me that so many businesses don't even have Google My Business listings or they don't pay a dime for any sort of internet presence because it's so powerful. I did not realize the power of SEO and how much more money it can make people. They just spent a little time in it. I use Donnie for all website outsourcing. Done for you websites are responsible for the quick success I've had. Since I got that $6,000 payment from my first client, I didn't want to waste his money. So I wanted to make sure it was done right. And so I hired Donnie to build those sites for my client because I knew that they had the experience and they had the templates that worked. And I was ranking within the first month or two, just based on the content and structure alone. I couldn't have built out the multiple sites I built for this client in the time I needed to because this client was expecting results fairly quickly and Donnie was able to get them out for me within a month. It's extremely valuable to have Donnie's service so that you can focus on other tasks versus building out five to 10 different websites within a month because that's a tedious and exhausting task.
My advice for anybody who's just starting out or still hasn't found the success they're looking for yet is go at this fearlessly. Don't be afraid to spend some money on some outsourcing work, make it happen because this is the thing, this model works and whether one or two of your sites don't hit, don't generate leads, you can't find a client for them, one of them will eventually if you just keep going. Don't let a few failures slow you down because you just have to keep going and keep building. I guarantee you if you build out 20 sites in 20 different niches in 20 different markets or 20 different niches in the same market, you're gonna hit. And the overhead is so low in this business model that you just need one or two clients to bite and you have your expenses covered. Currently, my websites in total generate roughly eight to $15,000 a month. I have some per lead deals, but I'm trying to eventually move to strictly monthly flat deals so I can have more predictable income. When the pandemic hit, my industry, my previous industry, became pretty much inoperable and still will be for a while. While all of my peers in my industry were taking unemployment money, I was making more money than I ever had in my entire life. It was just such a blessing. The best part of this model is how much freedom with my time I've gained. I work the hours I want to work and that I need to get done versus my previous industry where I'm on the clock and whether there's work to be done or not, I have to sit at my desk and pretend I'm working which is literally one of the most miserable experiences of my life. It's terrible. Twiddling your thumbs till 1 a.m., even though you know there's nothing left to do, you have to stick around until the rest of the team leaves. Now, I work when I need to work. If I work two hours in the morning and then take a break and then come back at three o'clock in the afternoon, I can do that. And so that type of freedom is the most valuable thing I've gotten out of this, is full control of my own life, I could plan my time how I want.